It's no secret to the top of the fashion world, personal product lister pages for each customer. Infinite scrolling and dynamic sorting are the new best practices, and you can get in on it. Tweakwise Navigator's personal merchandising module allows you to set custom, reoccurring recommendations within your product lists. This allows you to place, for example, a newcomer on every fourth position and a bestseller on every sixth position. That way your lister pages never feel the same and change over time. And if you think that sounds like it's difficult to set up, we've got good news. It's about as easy as the visual merchandising module. Let me show you. Go to Merchandising and click Personal Merchandising. Click the button to get started. You first need to name and save the personal merchandising setup. Give the rule a sensible name, for example, the category in which you will use it. Using personal merchandising is really easy. Just drag any of the components into the grid. The grid represents your lister page. If you place the newcomer on the first position, the first position of the category that you link it to will be filled with varying new products. You can contact us if you want to use specific types of components. We can set them up for you. Let's go ahead and place some more. You can pretty much go crazy here. Filling your lister page with components and personal merchandising rather than with specific products and visual merchandising doesn't compromise the automated sorting and algorithms as much. Be sure to leave gaps in the personal merchandising setup though to ensure maximum dynamics in your lister page. The gaps in personal merchandising will first be filled by visual merchandising and then by your normal sorting. Once you're satisfied with the setup, click Save. Now all you have to do is link the personal merchandising rule to a category. Navigate to the category tree and open the category that you made the rule for. Select the rule from the personal merchandising dropdown to set it. Don't forget to save. Unlike sorting and filter templates, personal merchandising rules aren't inherited by child categories, so set them for every category separately. Now all you have to do is create personal merchandising rules for your different categories. You can, of course, use the same one for multiple categories.